Hey everyone, I'm Young Demon 2 and 1, and uh, welcome back to the Disney Epic Mickey Any% Percent tutorial. Um, this video is going to be covering Gremlin Village, um, which includes Slay Along, the Ticket Booth, the Boat Rides, the World of Gremlins, and the Clock Tower. Alright, so first you want to paint in these gears by doing bunny hopping. Uh, so you see if you, uh, if you tr normally try to paint while you're walking, you kind of slow down. But if you uh, do bunny hops while you're painting, you move uh, much quicker. So when you're painting something, uh, normally you want to do bunny hops. Right here, we're going to be going down the uh, the hallway, and uh, right here, you want to kind of walk along with these gears, so they kind of boost you. And more cutscenes. Um, here, you can paint in the floor right here. I prefer to just walk along this top pipe straight over here. And then go to this gear, just tab Z to thin it out. Make sure not to get hit by the steam right here. Right here, if you're lucky, you can kind of get the steam to hit you this way, like that, and you ledge grab, which uh, puts you farther than you would normally uh, get. And then just jump on one of these whenever you can. Make sure not to jump off this too early though, or else you'll have to endure this slow walk, or not a slow walk, a slow uh, platform. Alright, so this fight is pretty easy. Um, just walk up to them, tap Z twice. One, two. It's dead. And then the second one, do the same thing. One, two. And then here it doesn't matter where you go, you'll automatically be teleported right back here. And he unlocks the door for you. Now, um... Gus kind of says if you had painted all the pipes, you wouldn't be there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. You can just kind of jump over it. And uh, you will need a lot of thinner for this next part. So if you aren't full like me, grab whatever you can. Um, you can break this barrel. It'll usually have a thing of thinner in it. Jump over. Try to jump over um, uh, this part of the wall. The hitbox isn't as big there. Alright, and this fight is a bit of RNG. Uh, so there are three uh, blotlings that are spawned in right away. Two spatters and a seer. And uh, once you have beaten two of them, a fourth one will spawn. Then once you've beaten uh, three of them, a fifth one will spawn. And it's RNG where they spawn. So they could either spawn really close to you, or they could be really far away. So you just kind of have to adapt to what RNG you get. Another thing I should mention is that spatters, um, if you do the tapping strat, which is probably the fastest way to uh, get them, they take two to die. Well, the seers only take one, as long as they're not in uh, the rolling form. There, that was bad RNG. Not a very clean fight, uh, but you do want to thin all of, all of them because uh, if you paint even one of them, there will be an extra little cutscene of uh, the gremlin telling them to go away. I skip this cutscene, and um, right here I'm going to talk about um, a trick called sailing, uh, which we're going to be doing a lot, especially in Gremlin Village. Um, 
So basically, it's a way to damage boost more effectively. Um, so once you hit there, it kind of boosts you out. And you can still double jump out of that. So you can do boom, jump. And then you can spin after that as well. So hit, jump, spin, hit, jump, spin. That's that's called sailing. Um, again, it's the way to get the most distance out of damage boosting. And here, uh, we're going to start using that. We'll just wait for this boat. Alright, so normally you'd be able to catch the boat going right in here. Uh, if you're fast enough. But once you get to this arch right here, you're going to start uh, doing some damage boosting. Just over to this boat. Now here there are two ways to beat the room. Uh, I prefer doing the paint way. Uh, by painting in the hippos. Because it's more of a straight path. Um, but make sure when you're painting them in, uh, you do bunny hops. Like I was saying earlier. And this room lags a bunch. See, that should have been painted in, but because it lagged a lot, it just kind of thinned itself back out for whatever reason. Paint this guy, and then once he's painted in, break these barrels to get health. Uh, getting that health is pretty essential for a trick we're about to do. Uh, so make sure you get those barrels. Alright, so right here you see there's a fan kind of blocking everything off. And, um... Usually what the game intends for you to do is to go on the platform with the frog right there, or the hippo platform. There'll be a cutscene, um, the fan going down, and the boat's getting sucked into that whirlpool up ahead. Um, but we can actually skip that by going around the fan, doing some damage boosting, over to the platform right over here. And uh, you need at least four uh, health pips to do this if you cut it pretty close. I'd recommend doing, uh, having a full health bar. So what you're going to do, jump off, go around the fan. Once you get to this leaf, start heading right. And you should get there, no problem. Then come over here real quick, uh, grab a health, and then start damage boosting over here. You need to grab the health there, um, because getting over here is impossible without um, at least three health. Damage boost. Um, you can get these barrels whenever you need them. Go onto this platform and drop down. Alright, so in this place, uh, you need to spin four different uh, valves. Uh, alternatively, you could free the four gremlins uh, earlier in the jungle boat ride, but this is a speedrun, so we're not gonna free all the gremlins. At least not in any percent. Gremlins will be useful later, um, but the gremlins in this area don't save very much time at all. Get them in the order that I'm getting them. Um, pretty simple though. Hold left here. The cameras are a bit weird, so you're gonna have to get used to the one that you need to hold. Um, after each one. I believe after the first valve you hold back left. Um, after the second one you hold up right, and then after the third one you hold back left. Alright, and then you just go in here. Um, this room is really easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Gus is going to talk for a bit. And there are these three valves that you need to spin uh, after you trip the, uh, the switch over here. Just uh, take the most straight path you can to each valve. 
Now we have a cutscene with a uh, small Pete, and uh, small Pete is actually very important uh, in Gremlin Village. He's telling you about a uh, ship's log in the world of Gremlins, uh, which we're going to be heading to next, and uh, I'll explain more about that when we actually get there. For now, we're at the Asia boat ride. Um, again, most of this can be skipped with damage boosting. Um, Kind of a common theme in Gremlin Village. Another common theme in Gremlin Village is that there is a lot of cutscenes. Alright, so what I do here, nifty little trick, you can break the stall straight through the bridge to grab yourself some more health. And we're just gonna damage boost uh, directly over here. Jump onto this barrel, and then jump up here, you should ledge grab and ride this down. You can keep walking this way if you want, uh, which is what I prefer to do, since you're going to be having to walk over here anyways. And then you see this kind of uh, reddish-orange platform. Uh, that's on a cycle, um, so you just kind of have to get lucky with what pattern you get. I got a pretty decent one, I didn't have to wait for that long. Just jump on it and ride it up. Hit this one, make sure you jump before it falls, and then... Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. But, um, just like, kind of hold right off that so you land right in front of the door. Mickey accidentally ledge grabbed on the, uh, the blue, uh, platform. Alright, now we have our first projector in Gremlin Village, uh, Steamboat Willy Part 1. The projectors in Gremlin Village are pretty simple, just kind of find the most straight path you can. So right here, you're just walking straight. Uh, I'd recommend not going on the top path because you have to wait for stuff and just kind of slow. And then just go to Old Gremlins. It's probably, I'd say, the most complicated room uh, in Gremlin Village. There's a bit more to do. Alright. We're gonna walk here. There's gonna be a few cutscenes. Uh, basically telling you what you need to do. We are literally skipping all of this. But there is something we won't skip here. And uh, earlier I said we are going to be um, doing something with Small Pete because he's important. Uh, you can also get help here, by the way. Um, but he has his ship's log, which is in this boat over here. And normally we can't get to it until we fix all of these um, and then activate these rides to get over there. But um, you can just jump on this pipe and jump straight over. It's not a very hard jump, just um, make sure you kind of center yourself on the pipe before starting to jump. And then turn that wheel, and we're going to open this trunk, which contains the ship's log. And uh, I'll explain why that's important uh, later when we get to the European boat ride. Alright, so now you just want to jump back here, um, get some more health if you feel like it. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, jump down here, come back up. Um, some people like to go around the long way uh, to get over to the windmill uh, if you prefer the thinner guardian route instead, the clock tower skip that I'm going to show you. Um, so what you want to do is you want to jump on this um, pot right here. And then just jump up here. Jump up the stairs. 
and then jump on this kind of black top right here. And then you're gonna jump to this. All right, now we're gonna try and get up here. And uh, this is a pretty difficult jump for some runners, uh, for some new runners. Um, but as long as you jump and spin at the peaks uh, of your jumps, that shouldn't be a problem. Another thing to note, uh, do you see how this windmill is kind of teetering back and forth? Right now the left is up and now the right is up. You want to jump, you want to time it so that you jump when this is fully up. And then run at this corner right here. And you should jump at the very edge of the corner. And if you do everything right, uh, Mickey should lie to grab. Uh, usually it looks like you aren't going to make it when you get over there. But let's see if I can get it. There we go. Yeah, so as long as you um, jump when the uh, thing is raised, and you should be fine. Now just free this gremlin, and he gives you a shortcut. Shortcuts are always good in the speedrun. Alright, so this is Clock Cleaners uh, Part 2, because we skipped Part 1. Um, by avoiding literally everything in the world of Gremlins. Alright, got a pretty good cycle there. This gear is the last thing you have to worry about. And that was a pretty good cycle. I'd say that's one of the fastest clock cleaner cycles you can get. Projectors are really just take the most straight path to the projector. Uh, minimalize jumping and platforming. Just all right. Now we're in a uh, European boat ride, which is the last section of the boat ride, technically, unless you count the clock tower. Um, since we took that shortcut, we've already spawned kind of halfway through the entire thing, but we're gonna skip the last bit anyways. So jump out here, uh, just do more damage boosting, and just go over here. Uh, you can get some health if you want for the clock tower. That's a neat ticket. Um, I'm going to the Coliseum. So um, the reason that getting the ship's log was important earlier is um, because small Pete here uh, he wants a ship's log, and if you didn't get it for him, he will send kind of an enemy gauntlet at you. And it takes really long to defeat, and it's just a bunch of RNG where the enemies move. Uh, it's kind of bad, so uh, just, grab it, just grab the ship's log from the gremlins, and you'll just be able to leave like that. And then jump on this pipe, a little nifty little shortcut, and go to the projector. Alright, now this is Steamboat Willy Part 3. Um, again, just kind of take the bottom path. This one's uh, pretty short. Let's go up here, jump up here. Right here, there's going to be a coconut. I like to stop at the third step. Mickey went to the fourth step. But if you stop at the third step and just wait there for the coconut to pass, um, you shouldn't get hit. And then go to um, Clock Tower. Now this is the, uh, the main boss of this area. And um, there's a strat you can use where you can save up thinner guardians and just kind of unleash them all at once at him. Um, however, I found a way to skip um, half of it. So what you do is you want to paint in this, uh, this hand. When it's up, don't bother painting because it doesn't let it won't really do much. So when it's up, just kind of stop move out of the way. And there will always be a um, paint and thinner thing spawned in. Um, on the side that he last hit. Okay. 
You want to make sure that you have close to full health um, before you paint it in. Now you want a damage boost over here, and then jump on this like middle finger right here, and it should boost you up. This might take a second to get the right boost, but you're trying to get on top of his hand like I almost did there. Uh, this trick is a bit finicky, so if you don't want to go for it, I totally do not. Uh, I'm probably going to die here. Uh, I'll try to show you again. Yeah, I don't recommend going for this in runs unless you're really consistent with it. Uh, it's a pretty hard trick. Uh, but it saves a pretty cool uh, chunk of time, and it's just a pretty cool glitch overall. Try to get to the middle. Right there, it's really hard to, f it's really easy to fall off the, uh, the other edge. So make sure you don't go too far. You want to kind of be um, like at the very tip top of um, his like hand corner thing. In this game, it's really easy to fall off uh, slopes, so that's one of the things that makes this trick really hard. Alright, so again, let's go right over to this ledge. Okay, jump off this finger. Do some like kind of safety hops to steady yourself and then just paint the face and you're good. You don't have to worry about falling off here, uh, even if he falls off, he's invincible. Gust will give you your paint uh, upgrade. And uh, if you notice here, the um, clock tower is still banging away out there and um, the invisible wall for the door is still here so the game hasn't uh, the clock tower hasn't been like registered as defeated but yeah, I guess this still works but uh, thank you for watching um, I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time at Mean Street in Austown bye